Hey, 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 Lee Wife Burton here. Welcome back to a brand new episode of Hacknet. So I'm excited to continue with this because last time we were doing some crazy training to help Bit out, but we don't know what's happened to Bit yet. And I want to know what happened to Bit. So let's continue. And let's see how this turns out. Okay. So where were we at? Let's see if I've got any messages from the last time. Something in return. Nice work. Here's where it's going to start getting harder. I need to ask a favour. I've been a little sloppy lately. Oh yes, this is where we left off. We need to delete his logs, don't we? Which is what got me into this whole mess. It's why I'm writing this in the first place, I guess. Anyway, the point is, there's some logs on a few computers that I'd prefer weren't there. You should remember this. If you forgot everything else I tell you, forget everything else I tell you. Don't get sloppy. Delete your logs. I've been doing it. Don't worry. If you haven't been, start now. Everything you do on any modern OS is tracked and logged in the log folder. Just go in there and remove start the whole thing. Never forget to. Thanks, good luck, bit. Request details. Okay. Delete all files in the target computer's log folder. The command removes the... I know that. Is it... That was scary. What just happened? So is this the computer I need to get into? So probe. Let's probe the system. We need to delete the logs. Okay. So. Let's choose the SSH crack. 22 which is ssh crack oh she types that insufficient memory <gasps> close notes to free space eh oh my rap what the heck this is getting crazy okay um i don't want to get rid of that i can get rid of that one hopefully that helps right so ss H crack 22 here we go here we go come on come on we can crack through that port 22 come on come on look at all them numbers go and ding we're in okay secure shell crack complete okay so now I want to port hack right come on we can get in there look at all them words scrolling by don't have a clue about how things read so quick, but you know. Okay, so let us scan the network. Always got to scan the network first. Scan complete, okay. View file system. Let's um, look through the files first. Anything interesting? Laptop police report. Oof. Oof. This is interesting. What am I seeing? Are you guys ready to stream? That depends. Are you ready to die? Lol. Shut up, Johnson. Um, okay, that is an interesting. Tax return. Better not read his tax returns. Don't make that sound. Report email trap. Log. Obviously, the log has stuff in it. The bin is empty. System has the boot up stuff. So, let's just clear the log. So, RM start. Deleting by log files by not tracking us. Sweet. Right, let's disconnect. And we should be good. So, do I reply to this email? Done. Dot dot dot. Thank me later. Okay. All right. If you see this, you've done well. And, well, all this might actually be worth something. Is that too much to hope for? It seems like a lot to hope for. I realise that I just don't have time to write this whole thing. There's way too much to learn. And I don't have time to do any of it. So, I'm going to need to ask something more. There's a group that goes by Entropy that cu that's currently accepting members. They'll be able to teach you more. When you're ready, I'll contact you again. As for getting into Entropy, you'll need to bypass a property server. A few shells open using the command shell. Running on computers you've already got admin access on should be able to overload it.
good luck and thank you. You'll need to bypass a proxy server. Okay, proxy server info. If you know it's on proxy server, it's a, a classic entropy challenge. Run shells on computers you have admin access to with shell. Connect to target computer probe its QE. Use the shells to overload target proxy. Eh, that's scary. Network education. Oh my gosh, that scares me. Okay, entropy test server. So if I do this one first. Um, wait, this just has information on it. I can't be bothered reading all that. Scrap that. Oh, 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 oh. Let's probe the system. Okay. We've got a proxy. Uh, what did it what did it say to do? I forgot already. I'm scared. Uh was it shell? Administrator access needed to run. How can I hack this though? I can't hack it. This isn't good. Send help. I don't have admin access. Let's try on here. Let's probe the system. Okay. See, I can SSH crack this one. Cannot execute. Did I do it wrong? Why can't I execute that? Oh, because of the freaking proxy shell. How do I get administrator access? Probe system. Help me! Um, scan the network. I don't know how to do this. Send help. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. File name, port number. Can I do that? What if I try um, HTTP web server 80? Nope, not happening. SS. I don't know what to do. I'm gonna have to go read this logana. This stupid thing. Quick guide proxy servers function as a buffering layer between the target computer and a connecting counterpart that filters, caches, and monitors incoming traffic to both optimize web performance for repeated queries and prevent some kind of attacks. The most well recognized flaw in proxy servers is their upper memory limit, which reached will force them to allow unchecked traffic to pass through. To exploit this, hackers and testers will often run shells on other computers that an attacker has access to, often using the built in shell program. Then, with a collection of shells on servant machines, we'll connect to a target computer and use the shells overload functionality to flood the target's proxy server with junk data, allowing other potentially harmful traffic through. Okay, that was interesting to be honest. The EXE command on modern terminals executes a file residing on the local machine, blah blah blah, effectively the command acts as a semantic shortcut and prevents the need for the IP address. This isn't helping me. Shells are compact, low memory, remote, blah, 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 blah. common functions, overload. Designed to test networks and proxy servers. This functionality floods the target machine. Tra a shell run in this mode will notify the running user when a foreign user connects to the machine running the shell and allow an emergency fork bomb flood to be executed on all other users connected to it remotely. This can be incredibly useful for maintaining the security of a remote network computer while doing other work. Firewall analysis. Firewalls have been around for a very long time in computer security. How do I get through them though? Once a potential so By a firewall solution. In this situation, a firewall solution will need to be provided before an unsyndicated login attempt can be attempted. Effectively meaning that any known password cracking software will be useless while a firewall is, is active. Firewall complexity can be examined with the analyze command. Running the analyze command multiple times will automatically detect patterns in the response data headers and will eliminate a of characters it can guarantee are not a part of the correct firewall solution. Once a potential solution is found, the solve firewall solution can be used to attempt to syndicate. Ooh! Well then. 
that is handy. I need to remember them things. So there's the analyze command and the solve command. Analyze is spelled wrong. Spell the American way. Ugh. So let's go probe the system. Let's analyze. Oh, what am I doing? What's happening? Am I meant to be doing something? Why is everything going red? I don't like it. Help. Um, it's giving me lots of letters and stuff. So. <laughs> what am I meant to do? Am I meant to wait? I'm scared. Have I done something wrong? Why is everything flashing red? I don't like this. Send help. Is this meant to be happening? <laughs> <laughs> what do all the letters mean? Why is there no solution? What do I do? Do I just wait? This beeping's scaring me. Is it gonna explode? Why has it gone blue? Oh my gosh, what happened? What did I just do? What the heck? What did I just do? What just happened? What the heck? Did I just do something bad? I don't know what I just did, but I feel like it was something really bad. <laughs> oh dear. In response to the- I should have read everything. In response to the increasingly hostile and active world of computer blah, location my home, this is naturally an imperfect sign, so there are two generally recognised forms of traces, active and passive. Passive traces. A passive trace is a computer program running on a machine that attempts to detect hostile action and mount a tracing action against it. The method of doing so varies from program to program and consequently the time it generally takes to complete does too. A passive trace can in theory be prevented from completing by using a self-induced crash at the exact time that the ping arrives from the hostile server, giving it no return, such that it assumes the packet never arrived. This would require OS level integration though, and is not a known feature on any widely recognised OS, leaving this an effective tracking method for would-be assailants. Is that not what just happened to me? Active traces. An active trace is a tracking effort undertaken by an individual working against either a currently active connection or, more commonly, logs left on a server by a careless hacker. An active trace is an untrackable and is generally done by attempting to breach security on nodes used in the routing path and observing the connection route logs. An active trace can be prevented by wiping away a chain in the connection link such as the pursuer has nothing to follow and as such it is recommended that if an active trace is to be mounted against an assailant it is done as soon as possible. I have no idea what I'm doing. Do I try and do this again? Do I try and get past again? Should I try the analyze thing again? Let's try it on here. Probe system. I guess port hack won't work because you do that after. Open additional ports on target machine. Okay, let's try. I don't know what to do. Um, I'm just going to try it again. This is so scary. I don't like it. Oh, firewall analysis past one. So I guess it classed the last one as working. Okay. I'll catch up with you when the trace is complete because I'm scared. Here we go. we got to crash again. Please. Please do something good. I'm scared. Dang it! Why does it keep crashing? Kernel memory corruption. Wait, is that what I need to use? Wait a minute. 
Do I solve with that? Colonel memory corruption. Remember it. Colonel memory corruption. Colonel memory corruption. Come on, quickly boot up. Colonel memory corruption. Colonel memory corruption. Okay, let me type, let me type, let me type. I need to ask it to solve it. Quick, 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 quick. Come on, quick. Solve. Colonel. Memory. Corruption. It's solving it. Wait. Solution incorrect length. Too many characters. Solve failed. What the heck? Incorrect bypass sequence. Why? What the heck? I don't know what to do. Well then. I'm going to try it once more. Analyze. You goes. Let's hope this gives me something better. Let's have a look again. I'm scared. Four. Three. Two. It says firewall analysis past zero again. And it's given a kernel memory corruption again. Is that what it gave last time? I feel like there must be something else on that page I need. There must be something else. What am I missing? Is it the technical information? Kernel memory corruption. I'm pretty sure that's what I put in. I'll try it again. I'll try it again. You know, why not? Let's give it one more go and see if it works. Please work. Kernel memory corruption. It's an incorrect bypass sequence. Too many characters. Eh. Right, I'm going to wrap this episode up here. Let's see next time if we can crack through this test server get through the proxy what the heck okay i hope you enjoyed this awesome episode of hacknet if you did please give it a thumbs up comment down below if you've played hacknet before and how it's going for you if you're playing now make sure to share this video with your friends and subscribe i hope you have the best day bye